Well, it's being hailed as a major breakthrough for law enforcement and a victory for consumers. And we're told it's led to a significant drop in those pesky phone calls of people claiming to be from the IRS. But in tonight's Action Line Consumer Alert, Shawnee Barr explains why you shouldn't let your guard down. For the last year, scammers pretending to be from the IRS have been relentless, calling at all hours of the day and night, sometimes several times a day. The result? More than 10,000 victims in the U.S. totaling losses of more than $300 million. Earlier this month, 70 people were arrested in India as part of a raid on a call center. 20 more were arrested in the U.S. Finally, the government had taken the steps that said, we're going to take this seriously, we're going to track these people down, and with the cooperation of the Indian authorities, then proceeded to arrest the individuals that were responsible. The Better Business Bureau says those efforts have led to a dramatic drop in the number of calls being reported. Nationally, the instance of those reports went from our number one reported um, scam that we've seen, it's fallen 95% to 11 reports nationally within the last week. When asked if this could be the end of the IRS phone scam, Dunn said... Doubtful. Um, highly doubtful. This was big business. It was a huge enterprise. We're talking about upwards of 750 employees in this call center that were hammering consumers, primarily in the United States. These folks may have gotten caught, but unfortunately that opens the way for someone else to move in and take over that business. The BBB says if you get one of these calls, do not give out any personal information and never send money. So far this year, our Action Line volunteers have helped save or recover $350,000 for consumers. And if you have a consumer concern or are interested in becoming an Action Line volunteer, give us a call at 591-0222 weekdays between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. or send an email to actionline at khon2.com. Sean Ibarra, KHON2 News.